everything is, you know, you can call it God if you want. Mm -hmm. Everything is reality. Everything is it. <laughs> everything is this. Everything is this miracle. And yeah. And that's, that's, um, how oh, it's, it's really, really diff diff different to feel that like there's this moment, you know, you have to feel this moment of insecurity or anxiety we might describe in such a way. And we think that's a problem. I have to sort of transform that in some way, make it go away, avoid it. You know, I'm, I'm doing all this kind of strategizing to sort of get myself out of that experience because why? Because I think it represents a threat. It's evidence that well being is gone and I need to get my well being back. And this is an ordinary, right, vantage. It's like, no, actually, this is the very flow of divinity that experience. This is the very flow of life itself. Literally, it's the flow of life itself. It's like, wow, that's such a different way to feel it as <laughs> like, I, I do that sometimes as a meditation when I'm guiding people and exploring this stuff. I just say, just as you sit here, just feel everything as the expression of reality. You're not trying to like manage your experience. You're not trying to get into some state Every thought, every feeling, every sensation, every perception, every memory, every visual image, just all of it is just the flow of reality, which it is, of course. It has a different feel to it, doesn't it? It's like a There's relief. No, it's, like, oh. it's such a relief. <laughs> it's such a relief. Like I say, you know, you don't have to correct your experience because the experience that you're having right now is is the miracle. It is the shine of reality. So. You don't have to you can still correct your experiences you can try to have different experiences nothing wrong with that but you actually don't have to because mm -hmm. the freedom is here as that experience mm -hmm. the life is here as that experience and this life or this being or this presence whatever you want to call it is it's there's no division anywhere it's like the body what i call the body's present the room is present you're present the sky is present, the trees are present. That's this presence that is the basis of everything. And if you feel that right now, the presence of your, your yourself, your body, your mind, and the presence of what you think of as not yourself, and notice how it's a singular presence. It's a continuum. There's no like dividing lines anywhere. There's mm -hmm. just presence everywhere. Mm -hmm. That looks like a bunch of stuff, right? It looks differentiated, but it's one seamless presence. Yeah. And here it is. It's one seamless presence. Mm. Yeah. All is one and one is all. Mm -hmm. Yes. That And it looks like a multiplicity, of course. It looks like diversity. It looks like a bunch of different stuff. One thing distinct from another. It has shows to. Up as, it shows up as differentiated, and yet it's, it's undivided simultaneously. Yeah. yeah. That's the miracle. That is really some. That is a. That's a magic. That's a magic trick, <laughs> or something that's singular and undivided to look different and differentiated. Mm -hmm. Right? Does it make sense? <laughs> yeah. I mean, to me, there's kind of like a. I don't know what I would call it. A certain kind of beautiful logic to do it, even though it doesn't make. It doesn't fit together like an ordinary sort of like. How can it be? distinct and different and the same it doesn't really line up in a certain kind of linear logical way but in another way it makes perfect sense to me somehow in yeah. some strange way i know what you mean maybe that's because i guess the more we come to see that that's what we're experiencing that paradox then it makes perfect sense because it's what is you know it, it's the only thing that makes sense it actually makes the most sense <laughs> it makes yeah. the most sense exactly uh -huh. it's like a return to sanity you know yeah damn man <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, that is great. That's the good news. It's the gospel, man. It's that great. is the great good news, exactly. Yeah. Is it possible we imagine ourselves having been plucked out of the hole, huh. separated out, cast out of the hole of reality, mm. and then we somehow have to find our way back to the hole? You know, that's kind of the spiritual path in many ways. Yeah. You know, what? what is the, the yoga tradition? Uh, yoga means to yoke together, you know, the soul and God or the Atman and the Brahman, that's yoga. And it's like, it's funny to think about that, like, 
there's really no yoking together of anything. It's seeing that the yoga is already the case. The union is already the case. Yeah. Like you, you and I have never been cast out of the whole, like there's only the whole. Yeah. That is the yoga. There's no return to that. It's that the is scene. the yoga to see. Yeah. Exactly. It's like in a sense, there's nothing you have to do, truly. The absolute explanation. There's nothing that one has to do to yoke other than no. see. But you don't have other to than, see, no. technically. <laughs> no. No, you don't. You don't. I mean, um, it's. It, I guess I would say that for the humans we seem to be, seeing that makes a difference somehow yeah but it doesn't have to happen and um recognizing that but not recognizing that tends to lead to searching and looking for something else like like sort of the belief that somehow this moment's not quite enough right mm -hmm. something feels like it's not like i need something more than this it's like wait, wait a minute yeah. <laughs> this is the absolute reality this is the infinite fullness <laughs> nothing else is needed actually it is this is everything that which is inclusive of everything how much more do you want <laughs> it's like here it is you know it's already complete and whole yeah and uh that's what you are <laughs>